my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, that feels big. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness, fish. Yeah, that also feels like a decent one. Here's the fish. Oh my god. 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 Abstract, yeah, it's complicated. What you say, the way you act, well, it makes me so confused. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros, and it is day two down here in Myrtle Beach. It's approximately like 38 degrees, so it feels like I'm back in Michigan. That is lovely. It's gonna be difficult to fish today because it's kind of cold, and it's really important to step in the water so I can cast far enough, but I'm not gonna do that at least for now, unless it warms up a little bit, which is supposed to, but. It's a chilly one, that's for sure, but let's whip out these big old surf rods, enjoy the beautiful sunrise, and hopefully catch a bunch of cool, new, exotic, I don't know what, saltwater fish that I've never seen before. Well, it's a little bit too cold to surf fish right now, but it's gonna warm up later, so I think I'm gonna head down one mile that way to the pier and fish the pier for a little bit and see if I can jig up a few fish off there. That's my idea right now. You know, switch up the scenery a little bit, but these waves are absolutely massive. So when it gets warmer, I have to go body surfing. Like I cannot miss this opportunity. I absolutely love body surfing in these waves. The only problem is it's a little bit chilly, but that's all right. Made it all the way to the pier. I'm gonna just jig this around and then I might throw on a shrimp or something if I can't get anything off this, but I don't really feel like setting that up right now. But this allows me to get a little bit deeper and also not have to stand in that cold water. Just set up a rig to use a shrimp because I don't think that swim bait's gonna work and I don't really wanna waste my time. A little bugger took my shrimp. Something down there though, probably like a freaking whiting or croaker pinfish or something which at this point today i would gladly take any of those fish because it's a fish and i'm struggling today have yet to get my first bite of the day i think a lot has to do with the fact that it's really cold right now it's just stole my shrimp again oh my gosh i have a fish this time i have to have one he has to be on there oh my gosh i finally caught him <laughs> this guy's been pissing me off though so finally caught him all I had to do was get the smallest hook I possibly could have. Well, see you later. At least I caught a fish today. Oh, yep. There's another fish. Feels a little bit bigger, probably of whiting or something. Yep, there he is. Just a bunch of these little tiny guys down there. There's a fish. There he is. I got him. I don't know what it is. It's probably another whiting. Yep, that's all it is. Why wouldn't it be? Is it? Wait, no. No, that's not. It's a sea trout. Hey, it's a new species. That's what we like to see. If I'm not mistaken, that is a little sea trout right there. So beautiful. I think that's the sixth species of this whole trip. So that is super cool. See you later, bud. Oh my gosh, that's fish. Come on. What is it? Feels a little bit bigger. No, it doesn't. It's not bigger, but I think it's another sea trout. Yup, that it is. Another nice little sea trout. And off he goes. That's the thing, I just love fishing so much just because like you're out here fishing, catching anything. Like I get caught up on catching tiny fish and I don't even care. Like if I'm catching something, I'm just gonna go with that. Even though I could be targeting some bigger stuff, some cooler fish, I just get hung up on the littlest things because I just love fishing. Whether I be catching a freaking shark or a tiny little sea trout like this, it doesn't really matter to me. Just being out here and experiencing everything, that's what it's all about. There we go, I got one now. He's definitely on there. If I don't have a fish, I don't know what it is. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just, I just gotta stop. Tiny little guy right here. What do you want, pigeons? You want my shrimp, I know it. Stepping out on the beach. Stepping out on the beach. Only real ones know where that's from. Stepping on the beach. Guys, I got a shirt. Do you like it? Pink because why not? I felt like getting a different color shirt. I don't even think I own a pink shirt. 
but now I do. Anyways, I'm taking a little break right now. I'm just gonna relax, charge up some cameras, then get back out on the surf because it's finally getting warm. It's like 50 some degrees right now. So that's that's plenty warm for me to get out there and hop in the water. So yeah, it, it's been a cold one, that's for sure. But it's supposed to warm up tomorrow and then Thursday. So we're looking at some nice warmer weather for the rest of the trip. Today was the coldest day by far. I literally was just rolling in my rod to check it and I caught a little whiting. So there's something from the surf. First fish of the surf today. It's been rough today from the surf. I'm not going to lie. Well, oh, see you later, bud. The surf is rough right now. I don't know what it is. I caught quite a bit of fish yesterday, a bunch of cool species that I didn't even think I was going to catch. So I don't know what's going on with today, but I might head back to the pier to finish off the night. I don't know, but I don't really want to waste my time sitting here catching nothing. I mean, the pier, I'm just gonna catch a bunch of whiting and sea trout, which at least that's better than nothing, I guess. Back at the pier for the last um, probably hour of daylight, just trying to catch some more fish before the day's gone, you know? Because the surf is not working too well. There's a few other dudes fishing, they all caught nothing as well, so. So I'm gonna stick with the pier because at least I caught some fish here. There's a fish, I got one. Yes, sir, finally hooked up on the pier here. And what is it? It's either a whiting or a sea trout. That's just about the only fish that's here. It's a tiny whiting. Like, oh my goodness. There's gotta be some at least bigger than this guy down there. Just a tiny little guy. See, nobody else targets these fish, but somebody's gotta show them who's boss. And that's gonna be me. Okay, okay. We're getting a little bit bigger. We're moving up somewhere, that's all I gotta say. Still a tiny fish, regardless. We're gonna let him go. Yeah, out she goes. Now we just wait until a little bugger comes, which shouldn't be that long. There's already one biting it, and I already hooked them. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. These are not impressive catches at all, but they're catches. I want to send a GoPro down there and see how many fish there are, because there has to be like just hundreds of these little dudes are down there. Oh my goodness. There he is. Oh my goodness. Let's go. That's an upgrade. Not a lot though, but it is. Oh, that's a sea trout. Have you? I don't even know. I mean, they both kind of look the same. This is definitely a sea trout though. See you later, bud. Don't judge me if I get fish wrong because yeah, I don't know anything about salt water. There's a fish. Yep, there he is. Oh my goodness. Some of them got some pull for their size. I ain't gonna lie. I mean. He ain't nothing big, but he was giving me a little bit of a fight. The tug is the drug, even if it's a little one. See you later, bud. Check me out, check me out. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, it's, it's a monster, guys. It's like 10 feet long. Oh my goodness, he was swinging. Another sea trout. I mean, the sea trout are bigger, so I would like to catch these guys, you know? And also, I know these guys can get pretty big, so I just gotta catch a bigger one of them. Moved a little bit further down, if that means anything. Maybe there's bigger fish further out. Probably just gonna catch the same thing though. I mean, just look at this view behind me though. It's just next level. It's a nut, oh my goodness, that was a big bite. That was a big bite. It was definitely not a big fish, but it came off, so never mind. There's a big bite, there's a fish. Oh my goodness, he's pulling. Why is he fighting so hard? I mean, definitely my biggest sea trout right there. Beautiful little fish, love to see it. Hopefully they can just keep getting bigger. All right, bud. Down you go. No matter how many of these little dudes I catch, I get the same amount of joy and excitement every single time. Can you guys see that light that's flashing right above me? I hope it's not annoying. See, this is what it means to fish with passion. When I say fish with passion, that's what I mean. Like, I'm catching the same like three, four inch fish every single time, but I'm still enjoying it like so much more than I probably should be. It's just being out here, seeing the nature, catching little fish and just having fun. That's what it's all about. And that's why I say fish with passion. That's what I mean by that. I'm not the biggest fan of it. And there's a fish. Oh my gosh, why does that feel big? Why does that feel big? Oh my gosh, that feels big. Oh yeah, that's a decent one right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a new fish. Yes, we got a new species, a black drum. Let's go. I just said I was feeling a black drum earlier and I got one. I mean, it's also not the biggest black drum because I know they can get super big like that one right there, but it's still a black drum and this is the second one I've ever caught. I caught one earlier. No, yesterday. I don't know when, but I caught one during this trip sometime. And I've only been here two days, so it had to be yesterday because it wasn't today. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying, but. All right, bud. See you later. I'm telling you, in due time, we'll get big ones. 
You just gotta weed through all the little dudes and eventually a big one will come bite. Oh my gosh, that was a big bite. That was a big bite. And that feels like a big fish. Oh my gosh, he's fighting. Why is he fighting so hard? He's not even that big. I'm telling you, dude, these sea trout are so aggressive. Beautiful little buddy right there. Down he goes. Well, I just cleaned up everything. I got everything organized. I actually put my clothes away. It's day two, well, night two, and I have yet to do that until now. Cleaned all the dishes for my meal prepping, ate some dinner, put a little laundry in. You know, I did all the essential stuff, but this is where I'm gonna come in with today's Bible verse, and I haven't picked it yet, but I'm just gonna read today's verse and see what it is. And today's verse comes from Psalm 126, verse five, and it says, "'Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy.'" I also want to show you guys these uh, conch shells that I got. I got two of them. This one's a little bit beat up, but this one right here is pretty much in perfect condition. And it is looking mighty fine. I'm super glad I was able to find that thing. Because I basically walked like four miles down the beach today, like multiple times. So I got to see some stuff and I found those cool shells right there. So that's a pretty dope find. I'll say that. Well, this is where I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. I got something epic planned for tomorrow. There's actually a bike rental place about two miles from here. So I think I'm gonna walk those two miles, go rent a bike, and bike another 12 miles to this one spot that potentially has redfish. So you should subscribe so you don't miss that video tomorrow and you don't miss any more videos in the future because there's gonna be some crazy videos. Well anyways, if you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And as always folks, fish with passion. Can somebody come and save me? I just want to know